Hey trackies, welcome back to another video here on TXD Track Time. Please remember to like the video and also subscribe to the channel. So like I said in the men's 100 meter preview to the London Diamond League, we are going to see some thrilling events at the London Diamond League coming up on the 20th of July. And guess which other event is going to be a humdinger as well? The women's 400 meters. Yes, this event is shaken up to be a real throwdown between between some of the strongest or the fastest women that we've seen over the quarter mile so far in 2024. And guess what? To top things off, trackies, let me just get you to understand how crazy this race is going to be. There are three women that have dipped below 49 seconds so far this season. Yes, a whole three. Sydney McLaughlin and Leveroni, you know, her specialist event is the 400 meter hurdle, so she doesn't count. But Second to Sydney McLaughlin Leveroni in terms of time zone so far this season is a Nikisha Price with her 48.89 seconds and a Natalia Kazmark who is third with a 48.98 seconds. So those are the three athletes that have dipped below the 49 second barrier this season. And guess what? Two of those said athletes line up in this race in London. Yes. It's going to be absolutely wild. But not only that, we have an additional athlete that are two additional athletes that are in the top 10 so far this season that will be running in this women's 400 meters. I'm talking about Amber Annin with a 49.51 seconds and Alike Claver with a 49.64 seconds so far done this season. So yes, these athletes or this women's 400 meters is going to be absolutely crazy, right? So in the women's start list, I did point out a few before but let's go over it. We have Nikisha Price from Jamaica. From Poland, we have Natalia Kazmarek in lane three. Well, it's not lane, sorry. The third athlete on the list is Amber Annin. Then we have Lika Claver. Then we have Lena Irby Jackson. We have Talitha Diggs. We have Lania Nielsen and Victoria Unrugu. So those are the athletes that line up here. Three Brits, two Americans, a athlete from the Netherlands, Poland, and of course, a Jamaican. Tops the list in terms of the fastest times run so far this season. No Lena Sandman's just yet, just the athletes that will be performing at this particular Diamond League. And I'm quite interested and intrigued to see how this one goes. Now, of course, Nikisha Price recently went pro. Congratulations to her. So this will be her first race since going professional trackies. And I'm excited, excited to see her performance here. And one thing I know about Nikisha Price is she does not like to lose, especially, well, most athletes will tell you that they don't like to lose, but their performances is what really shows you that, yes, this athlete doesn't like to lose because it's one thing to say it and it's another thing to show it. And what we saw at the national championships where she didn't really have to run, you know, that hard against Asada Williams because she wasn't going to be going Shade, 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 <laughs> Shade Williams because she wasn't going to go, you know, any further in the rounds. But still, Nikisha Price was like, look here, this is my stomping ground. This is my, you know, home turf as well as I'm the fastest athlete in the world outside of Sydney McLaughlin Never only that's competing in the women's 400 meters why would I have anybody beat me, right? And she literally went out and, you know, took Donna Shadi Williams, as I said, didn't have to do so. That that shows me personally, Track, is that she's an athlete, regardless of whatever is going on, that wouldn't even give you the slightest inch, right? That's the view that I get watching her perform. So with that said, I am indeed excited and thrilled to see her match up against the second um, fastest, well, not the second fastest child, the third fastest athlete so far in the 400 meters this year, though second fastest in terms of who really does compete in the 400 meters, right? So with that being said, Natalia Kazma really came out at the European Championships and, you know, left everybody stunned when she clocked that 48.98 seconds um, run. I would say that in terms of, you know, when I compare both herself and a Nikisha Price, you could say that Nikisha Price's run, given, you know, the trending that she was on, wasn't necessarily surprising, though awesome, not necessarily surprising. But Natalia Kesmerich's run literally came out of left field for me personally um, when she clocked um, that sub 49 second run. So for me, I really want to see if she can replicate such performances, meaning not to say that I'm expecting the athletes to go out there, you know, and run, you know, sub um, 49, though it's very possible. Again, it's London. It's one of the fastest tracks in the world the competition is also very very stiff as well in this race so i wouldn't be surprised if we get something completely wild a sub 49 clocking though at this particular point in time it's not necessarily my expectation but with that said tracky 
is given the um, performance done by Natalia Kazmarek. What I want to see is, you know, her proving that, yes, indeed, even though I'm not necessarily expecting, as I said, her to replicate her PB, but I want her to show that I am indeed the second fastest athlete performing in the 400 meters at the Olympic Games. That's pretty much what I want to see in this race, which means that she'll be going toe to toe as far as I'm concerned with a Nikisha Price in this race. That is what I am looking out for. But essentially track is the field in general cannot be slept on because even though you know we have nikisha price and also natalia kazmarek that have dipped below that 49 second barrier this season we also have an amber annan in this race that prior to nikisha price going on her winning run you know always used to seem to one up a nikisha price in their outings and she lines up here her fastest time so far this season of 49.51 seconds. So she's definitely in the conversation 100% for an athlete that will be challenging for one of those top placings in this particular race. And as well, she always seems to be an athlete for me personally, just watching her collegiate career always rises to the, the occasion as well. So again, it will be interesting to see what she does here in this particular race. And like with Anikisha Price, the performances that we've seen from an Amber Annin have been replicated throughout her season collegiately. So I'm expecting a good performance from her here as well. Lika Claver is coming off of new personal best in the 400 meters. So I'm intrigued to see what she does. Again, these these top four trackies are really, really solid. I'm expecting to see these athletes in the finals, potentially, in you know, come the Paris Olympic Games. Now, don't get me wrong. There are many athletes that I haven't even begun to call yet, but hopefully these are some of the athletes that I believe will be in the finals at the Paris Olympic Games. So... Lika Claver with her 49.64 seconds is definitely in the conversation as well. And she's rounding into shape perfectly the right time. Has been looking good from indoors and pretty much has been carrying on throughout the whole season. Again, with a new personal best here. So I expect her to also figure in the bigger scheme of things in this particular race. Now, you definitely can't ever count out the Americans as well um, when you talk about the 400 meters. So I'm looking out to see what Alina Irby Jackson will be able to do and a Talitha Diggs. Though I I haven't seen the best running from Talitha Diggs in this recent year, but let's see what she pulls out here. Lavia Nelson and Victoria Onorugo, they're on their home turf, so they'll be looking to put up solid performances to the home crowd, right? Sending them off to the Paris Olympic Games. Now, how do I think this race will go? Clearly, 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 I have Nikisha Price walking away with the win. <laughs> I definitely have Nikita Price winning. I think she has shown on numerous occasions that she is built for this type of running. She has a very deceptive running style as well, might I add. But yeah, she has replicated her performances on numerous times. Mind you, not the sub um, 49, but just has run solidly each time we've seen her. So I'm expecting her to give us another solid run here, though I expect Natalia Kazmer to push her in this particular race because she, I believe, will also want to go with the win. I'm expecting her to be in the conversation as well Amber Annin and Lika Claver right I'm expecting these athletes to finish in top four actually um, in the in the race um, so that is my thought process for this women's 400 meters as I said I think it's going to be a really really good solid showdown leading into Paris and I think a few of these athletes may well be in the 400 meter finals at the Paris Olympic Games so now let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as I said we are seeing some of the fastest athletes that have gone over the 400 meter distance just on the heels of the Olympic Games, taken to the London Diamond League. Let me know your thoughts as it relates to the performance. Do you think overall we may actually get a really fast run? Because now that I'm thinking about it, the fact that Natalia Kazmark is in the race, she may, you know, really go hard. And Nikisha Price may be forced to run super hard as well. So let's see um, what happens there. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section as usual. Like the video, of course, Shrekies, and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you on in the next one. Bye.